And now I'm going to teach you how you can create bulk listings using flat files. Hey everyone, I'm Ria Mithil and on popular demand, Seller App is here to teach you how you can upload your bulk product listings using flat files. In this video, we are going to be talking about benefits of using flat files, where you can download your flat files from, how you can create your product listings using flat files and how you can upload them on Seller Central. So this is literally the only video you need if you're looking on understanding how to use flat files to upload multiple listings. So if you're wondering what are the benefits of uploading bulk listings in Seller Central is first uploading a listing is a very tedious task and does take a lot of time. Imagine you are a seller on Amazon who has multiple products and multiple product listings. It is going to take you a lot of time to upload them one by one in Seller Central and this is where flat files come into picture. Using flat files, you can edit and create multiple product listings and upload them in bulk in your Seller Central account. And while you're uploading these bulk listings, you have multiple products listed in your marketplaces. That means more sales. So diving right into the video, I am going to teach you where you can find your flat files or where you can download your flat files from. And here comes a screen share for you to understand. So first log into your Seller Central account and go to Inventory tab. Then click on Add Products via Upload. Now click on the first tab, which is Download an Inventory File. Here you need to find and select the category of the product you are going to sell. You can do that in two ways actually. The first one, you can search for your products in the search tool here, or you can select using the product classifier below. For this demo, let's imagine that the product we want to sell is a wine glass. Select home and kitchen and then kitchen and dining, wine accessories, and at the bottom here, we can see wine glass. We are going to click on select. In step two, you need to select the marketplace Let's keep Amazon.com and remove the others for now. Finally, you need to select the type of template. Let's keep the language as English. Next, you can either choose Advanced Mode, which contains all attribute groups associated with the above selected products, which includes required, preferred and optional attribute groups, or you want to create a customized template. You can select Customs and once that's done, click on Generate Template. And that's it. Your template will be downloaded as an Excel file in your computer. And now I'm going to teach you how you can create bulk listings using flat files. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are liking the content so far because we have so many more videos for you to watch. And let's get started. Step one, open the file. And now, don't be nervous. It can be overwhelming at first seeing all the columns. Trust me, when I opened my first flat file, I was a little dizzy. You can read through all the information as it tells you what data column is, but the only tab you need to worry about is the template tab. Step two, click on the template tab. This is where we're going to add all the information required for your product listing. Keep in mind that depending on your category, this sheet is going to look slightly different. Step three, Let's start filling the first column, which is product type. You might have noticed that in this column amongst a few other columns has an arrow inside it. This indicates that this column has a drop down menu and you need to select an option within it. Nothing else. If for some reason the drop down menu is not showing for you, don't worry. You can refer to the valid value tabs at the very end. It shows you the options you would find in the drop down menu. All you have to do is copy paste it to the right column, select the product type, which is in case a drinking cup. In the next column, you need to specify the seller SKU for your product. If this is a brand new product, then you need to assign one. The next column is going to be a drop down, and here you need to select the brand name. After that, you need to add your product ID. Product ID are unique identifiers that are required for all commercial products. UPC barcodes EAN are all variations of the Global Trade Item Number or GTINS. Once you've added your product ID, you need to specify among the variations I mentioned now, which is the type of product ID you're using under product ID type. In the next column, you need to select item type keyword 
As you can see in this particular case, we have just one option which is wine glasses. The next column that you fill in is quantity. If you are an Amazon FBA seller, then this does not matter since Amazon will have an idea of how much inventory you have left in the warehouse or how many units you will be sending them. However, if you're using FBM, please do not forget to fill this column. So let's move on to the next column, which is main image URL. This is a bit different from Seller Central where you can upload your image directly from your computer. Here you need to upload your images somewhere like Google Drive, your websites, etc. and copy paste your image URL here. This goes for the next few columns under images as well. If I was uploading a listing or an image, I would use Google Drive, uh, but you can use Dropbox or anything that you have been using already. The next section is variation. If you are selling products that have multiple variations such as size, color, material, etc., then this section is going to be very important. So let's fill out the first column, which is the parentage. Here you need to fill whether this is a parent ASIN or child ASIN. We are going to select parent for now. Next, you need to add the parent SKU. You can just copy paste the SKU you have mentioned earlier. After that, you need to specify the relationship type. You'll have two options here, accessory and variation. For this example, variation is the option we need to select. In the final column under variation, you need to mention the variation theme. Depending on your product, select an option that works for you. I'm going to select color for now. Let's move on to the next section, which is basic. Under this, the first column you need to fill is update delete. This is where you need to mention whether you're creating a new listing, updating a few columns, or completely deleting the product altogether. If you're creating a new listing, then select update. From here on out, you don't need to fill some of the columns as the columns are specific to certain product categories. So the next column that we are going to fill is the product description. Product description is where you can explain further about your product. You can add details that you weren't able to add in the key product feature section, but make sure that it looks neat and organized. That's very important. A cluttered description page may turn off people who read it. Make use of bold lettering. Give ample space between lines so the text looks good visually. So you can see an example of that on the screen right now. The next two columns are manufacturer and manufacturer part number. If this is your own product, then of course you will have it at hand. If you're selling an existing product, then you need you can either visit the manufacturer website or contact them and get these figured out. Same can be said about the next three column, which is model, model number and model year. Moving on to the next column, which is care instructions. If you have any specific care instructions for your products, you can mention it here. As you can see, there are three options for us, which is microwave safe, dishwasher safe, hand wash. So let's select hand wash because our wine glasses are delicate. Let's now move on to the next section of the inventory flat file, which is discovery. The first five columns are key product features. In other words, bullet points of your listings. It is also the first description of a potential customer sees when they open your product listing. So make sure that it is well optimized. Keep in mind that this is limited to 100 characters per line. As you can see them add up to five lines of a key product feature. Make sure you use all five of them. You'd really want to use this feature. After the bullet points, we see search terms column. This is important as this is where you add all the backend keywords. Important thing to remember here is that you should avoid repeating the same keywords because you do not want to stuff your keywords. You can use tools like SellerApp Keyword Research to assist you in finding the perfect keyword of your product. We have a lot of data for you just waiting out there for you to use it. Do make sure that you are using SellerApp's product research tool for most potential. Are there chances that your either your listing is like cut in half the descriptions or you get an error message when you try to upload the listing. And believe me, it's as you can see, this process is already quite long and you do not want to go through it again. So make sure that you're getting this right in the first try. The next important column that you need to fill are colors, color maps, and material type. 
So depending on the variation theme that you've selected earlier, you need to update these columns. Since we've selected color as a variation, let me put velvet red as a color and under color map select red. You can go through the rest of the columns depending on your product and category. Fill out the columns you require, for example under product enrichment, you can share additional details about the product. Under dimensions, you can share your product dimensions. This is especially helpful if you think the measurements taken in the FBA warehouse are inaccurate and you want to do a remeasure. Under fulfillment, you can share dimensions of your product package in, in a similar way, along with your fulfillment center ID, which reminds me, if you're not an FBA seller, and using a flat file to make updates to your existing listing, then make sure that you come to the column Fulfillment Center ID column and select your center ID. Otherwise, you might get reverted to FBM. Once you fill everything that you needed for this particular listing, you can add listing as rows below. So now that we've created a listing, we are going to now upload it using flat files. So I'm going to be telling you how to do that. Once you've added all your listings to flat files, save it on your computer. If you are using Google Sheets, go to File, select Download and choose Microsoft Excel. Now go back to Seller Central and open Add Products via Upload. Under the Inventory, once again, however this time, open the Upload Your Inventory File tab. Here's the first thing that you'll see, File Type. By default, it will be Inventory Files for specific categories so you don't need to change anything that there. Next comes the file upload. Click on the choose file button and select a flat file you want to save. Next, under the email alert, add your email address so that you will be notified when the upload is completed. You don't need to change anything on the processing report format as before it will be defaulted to Excel so keep it that way. Now click upload and there you go. Your inventory file is now being uploaded. Keep in mind that it takes a little time to process and the duration will keep increasing depending on the amount of listings that you've added there. And if you want to check the status of your upload, you can open the third tab, Monitor Upload Status. So the biggest advantage while using this method is that you actually get an email from Amazon telling you whether your flat file has been uploaded or not. If there is an error with your flat files, it will tell you where the error is and how you can edit them. This is a feature that you won't get if you're using Seller Central to create a listing, which is super cool. So this is it. This is everything that you need to know about using a flat files on inventory file, as some of you call it. And this is what you use to upload your listings on in bulk on Amazon. That is it for today's video, everyone. I hope you all had a great time. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to Seller App's ever-growing community. And of course, if there are any other video suggestions that you think we haven't covered, leave them in the comment box below and we will create the videos for you. Um, if you have any more doubts or if you are stuck somewhere, leave a comment down below and we will answer you and help you in the best way we can. Until the next time I see you, happy selling.